Okay, the purpose of this video is to do a short demonstration of how to navigate your way around Motec i2 Pro. Uh, opening a file, um, up come your list of tracks, you can sort it by track, date or time, fastest lap, or the number of laps you did. Um, we'll open Interlagos. Okay, the way Motex organized is in, to, is in worksheets and tabs. Uh, if you click the drop down box here, you see all the worksheets you've got. Each of those worksheets has a series of tabs, so you'll see all of these across here, which show um, different data from the session. Um, if you go to a new worksheet, such as tyres in this example, you'll see there's different tabs within there. So basically all the tabs represent something in this category. Okay, to select a lap, um, these are all your laps up here. By default it opens up your fastest lap, so lap 15 was the fastest in this case. If you want to go to any other, all you do is double click on that lap and you'll see the data change in here as it's changing to a different lap. In the data that's displayed, you'll notice we've got uh, minimum values, maximum values, and average values. With the maximums and minimums, if you want to find out where that occurred, you can either put your pointer over it, and you'll see it highlights that section there. Or if you want to go to it permanently, you can double click on it, and that moves the um, lap position um, indicator to that point. And same with the minimum. Um, you can see from the tr track diagram that the minimum is that part of the track right there. The maximum is on this part at the end of the straight. If you're actually working on something and you want to see what's happening at a certain point in the track, you can actually go to this track report image. Just say we want to find out what's happening there. You can click there. You'll see the indicator for the car moves to that point. And then you can go to any other uh, worksheet and the lap indicator is right at that point of the track for you automatically. If you want to see um, all the laps, um, actually there's a few ways you can do this. If you want to see a larger range of data around the point that you're looking at, you can actually grab the end and move it to where you want. Same with the other end. So you can see multiple laps of data in one screen there. To get it back to a single lap, all you do is double click on a lap. Or you can select this fastest lap icon here. And that will take you straight back to the fastest lap, which as we said was lap 15. One of the things you might find, um, find it useful to show all laps is um, tyre pressures and tyre temperatures. Um, what you can actually do there, you can um, select horizontal zoom full out and that will display the data for every single lap you've done. So if we go to tyres for example, um, it's useful in this situation because for tyre temperatures you can see how long it actually takes for the tyre temperatures to get up to operating temperatures. So in this case, it's not until lap 2 or 3 that the tyre temperatures actually got to the point where it stabilises. Uh, likewise with tyre pressure. Um, tyre pressure here you'll see starts to even out probably around about um, lap 4 in the data set we've got. We'll go back to a single lap. We'll go back to the fastest lap. Okay. If you're looking at a screen and you want to um, go through laps, you can use these here, previous lap, next lap, to go through lap after lap to see what the data looks like for the particular uh, parameter that you're looking at. If you want to zoom in on a particular section of data, there's a few ways you can do it. Um, we'll change to, we'll go to suspension. 
okay um, just say we want to look at roughly around this point you can double click on that point drag to where you want to view the data and click the mouse button again it zooms in on that point so you can see at a closer range what you're actually looking at um, if any of these aren't adjusted to the right scale you can click in this area of the window here and it brings up this meter which you can actually drag and size to the whole window so it gives you a closer look at like um, the actual values for the um, for the item you're looking at likewise with other windows in addition to the minimum and maximum values you can also um, look at the real-time values so if you move this along you'll see the values changing so you can go to any point you also you can also see in the bottom right hand corner the car's position on the track okay we'll go back out to the full lap view okay another way you can zoom down into a section of data is to use this bar up here that shows you um, whereabouts on the track you are so the different turns and straights if I want to zoom in and see what's happening in turn 6 on the track all I do is double click on turn 6 like that and that zooms into that whole section you'll notice up here it's only got highlighted that section of the track that you're looking at if we click backwards and forward laps now you'll notice how only that turn 6 section is shown in each of the laps so you can scroll through and see the differences in each lap between there it's good if you're looking at suspension stuff and you need to see times that you've hit curbs and stuff like that if you notice that um, the track data isn't showing right like for example um, the turn indicators um, aren't correct for the track you can actually go into this track icon track editor up here and you can modify the sections of track so if, if there's a part of the track that isn't actually classified in real terms as a corner um, you can actually click on it and click on delete and remove it and then you have to rename the labels correct for the actual track um, I usually go into formula1.com have a look at the proper turn names and make sure they match up with this track on here another thing you'll notice um, on all of the graphs the um, indicator at the bottom shows distance for the lap so from start to finish over here is in this case um, roughly around about four and a half kilometers probably a fraction shorter um, sometimes you might want to see it based on time rather than distance of the lap like if you want to look at what the car is doing while it's sitting still in the pits or something like that you can actually click on this icon up here which if you look at this bar down the bottom that's showing distance at the moment if we click on this it'll change it to seconds so one lap in this case is yeah, probably roughly about 80 seconds maybe a bit less and we can click on it again to get it back to a distance setting some of the graphs in here uh, let me find one tires is probably a good example some of these values are calculated on formulas um, if we go into the math section up here at the start of each season you need to set um, certain constants which are applicable to the mod so two of them are tyres um, you have to set this one here which is like um, the optimum tyre temperature it's currently set to 104 degrees if you need to change it you just click on edit change the value there and, and select OK and the other one we have to set at the start of each season is the brake constant so optimum um, brake temperatures um, there's settings in the in certain R factor files that show you what that is okay something a little bit different now just say we've got two laps and we want to overlay two laps and see um, where one lap was faster than another for example the way we do this is click on the data up here this will show you all the laps that you've done in the entire session 
you can pick out two laps and you can actually load laps from different sessions as well so it doesn't have to be from the one run um, like this is right here um, it's still set up the same way so the first lap we want this 113.343 the second lap we want to compare is our fastest lap of the day which was a 111.844 you click in this little box here and as you can see in the right hand window here it's added the second lap so um, you can see both laps at once if you click out here somewhere um, that's applicable for all the settings by the way so you'll see you've got both laps overlaid so you can see exactly what's happening in both laps at the time one of the things that is super handy is um, this lap comparison tab here that I've set up if you click on that and then click on this show variance it actually shows you where one laps faster than another so in this case the black lap which is the faster lap started out equal got a little bit slower at this point here which if we have a look down here is through turn one and then from this point onwards here coming out of turn two it was much much faster for the rest of the lap or it got a big jump got a big jump through turn two and then pretty much maintain that for the rest of the lap but that's just showing um, lap variance which is a very handy feature to take that back off all you do is do that and then go back to your window and as you can see you've only got one lap listed there again okay that's the end of the demo happy tuning